You know, sometimes it really does feel like it's always Monday. I know I feel like that sometimes myself, and I'm sure sometimes you feel like that too. Hopefully not all the time. Because sometimes you just go into work, pull yourself out of bed in the morning, sit down at the desk, and just wonder why you're here. Why are you living your life like this? Why is it that you're spending so much of your precious waking life sitting at a desk and doing a job for someone else? Why aren't you living for you? But we all have responsibilities. We all have reasons we can't live the life that we want to live. So sometimes it does feel like it's always Monday. And that's what we're playing right now. It's Always Monday is a free game that's available on Steam. Uh, The developer says that in this game we play as Bob. And Bob is trapped in a boring work existence. Our goal is to try to find a way to escape the office. Well, I guess let's get going. Add Escape the Office to our to-do list here. Make coffee, drink coffee, drink more coffee to get energy to drink more coffee be awesome let's add another checkbox there escape the office and then add another one live bob's life for bob and no one else let's get started with that now We start off in our cube, working at IMNR. Five more steps and we'll be free. But which steps are we talking about? Is that a message from Bob to Bob or someone else? A photo of happier times, colorful times. It's very drab in this office. Not much color. I guess let's take a look at what we've got on our desktop here. We can get back to work. Oh, working on those spreadsheets. I mean, I don't know if there's anything we can actually do with our with our work. We j- but Bob just can't keep his mind on the job. It's only in the background. You can see it's like 10... 10 it's switching between 10.10 10 and 10.15 in the back. Just keeps going back and forth. You know, sometimes it feels like the clocks just are are not moving ahead. We could go on chat roulette. I'm sure that company policy forbids us from doing that. And we'll probably get in trouble with IT if we do. But whatever. Now it looks like the stranger knows us knows where we are and where we're working. But we seem confused about it. You know, stranger, it's not appropriate for for work, you know. You have to you have to know where the lines are, where the boundaries are. Uh, maybe we should grab a drink tonight. I don't know. It appears that we were going to make a move and then then decided to just forget it. Uh, Can the file actually get us out of this place? It's just a JPEG. Wonder if that's her. Maybe it is. Press H to hide the pictures. Uh Uh-oh, here comes the boss. I'm pressing H. Nothing's happening. Hey, don't, you know, don't mind me. This just came up from, I mean, the person who worked here before me must have downloaded the, I don't know what they are. Look, I'm a victim here. Maybe we shouldn't go on chat roulette. We, uh, I tried pressing H, and it wasn't working. Oh, four more steps. Uh, maybe we got in trouble. Maybe, uh, it's a five strike and you're out policy. I don't know. We could turn off the computer. Stretch our legs, you know, walk around, see what other people are doing. Uh, Here's also Bob. 
Bob 2. Okay, Bob 2 will have good ideas. I can't seem to speak with Bob 2. The way to happiness. Bob, is this correct? Bob 2? Have you read this, this handbook? It seems important. Bob 2 is ignoring Bob. Bob sometimes just... Uh, he just can't focus on his work. He just has to walk around, make a lot of noise. No one really appreciates it. But, you know, sometimes you just... You can't stay focused on the job. We need to make someone happy. But the real question is, can Bob make himself happy? I saw that. Oh. I can't... I, I don't think I can actually throw the... the paper airplane. I don't know if any of these Bobs are going to have any insight for us. Something is seriously wrong. I mean, you might say something is seriously wrong with all of us. We need to get to the point where we thought it was an acceptable way of life to live like this. Or did we ever make that decision? Did other people make that decision for us? Hmm, someone wants barracas from the kitchen? I guess we could... I guess we could look into that. There is no escape. The other Bobs have tried, and they failed. Oh, I'm not ready to open this window. Yeah, and that clock definitely does need to be fixed. Or maybe it's not the clock that needs to be fixed. Maybe it's us who need to be fixed. Maybe there's something wrong with us. Speak with Bob, too? I tried to speak with Bob, too. Oh, no, that's not actually Bob, too. Well, the only Bob that gave us any... any sort of goal. Oh, man. That is a question that I think comes up way too much. Just way too much. The only Bob here that actually said anything different to us and gave us a goal was the one who wanted the thing from the kitchen. Who's tossing... tossing paper in the waste, 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 waste paper basket. I don't know if this is Bob, too. Oh, it does say Bob, too. The others just say Bob. Bob, too, is the only unique Bob. The only Bob who is actually different from the other Bobs. Well, here are Barekas, and this is the same box that Bob 2 has in his cube, so I think he's been eating quite a few. I'm trying to turn it off. You don't want to waste water. Okay, good, it's turned off. Apples. But Bob 2 did not ask for apples. Well, that's no good at all. That's not a drain. Usually there's a sign there that says that that is not a drain. You should not pour things in it. Well, only one place to put this. It, it doesn't go in. It, I, guess, I guess it doesn't open up. I guess this is, this is the boss's office. What's stopping us? Nothing, nothing he says. Well, maybe... Or maybe it's everything that's stopping us. If nothing's stopping us, then why are we still here? Oh. I don't think I can access his computer. Be the best version of me? I don't even know what that version would look like. Let me know if you see him around. That's not a drain either. 
That's no good. All right. We know where the Barakas are. Let's pick them up. Oh, let's pick them up and bring them over to Bob, too, who is hankering for some more, even though he clearly has eaten around three boxes full already. Here you go, Bob, too. Bob, too, reveals a key. He dares us to take the key. Well, Bob, too, I have no reason to disbelieve you, Bob, too. I have no reason to think that you're going to steer me wrong. You seem like the only unique individual here out of this entire office. The only one who knows there's no point to doing anything on that computer. Just tossing an endless supply of crumpled paper into that basket, knowing that in the end, none of this will have made a difference. I'm still not ready. Hmm, what? I guess I'm looking at these right here. Well, we can't worry about that right now. We have to figure out where we need to put this key. Did we see a keyhole? Yes, we did, in the boss's office. Uh, that's where the boss is right now. Well, if he's distracted in here, I guess let's find out what he's got hide hid away in here. No, it's locked. I mean, I'm holding a key. I guess this is not the key to that. What's the boss doing? Do not enter his room. He wants us to go back to work. I mean, I don't think this is going to encourage morale among your workers. Really, a good boss will make the workers want to do a good job. For you. If you're just going to foster a hostile environment... You're not going to get the best performance. That, oh, wait a second. Maybe this is what we need to unlock. It is. Could this possibly be the exit, though? You would think it wouldn't be so easy. We're outside. But I guess this, I guess this is a door. Yeah, all right. It is a door. Some of these office buildings are getting fancier all the time. I mean, this seems like a nice place to just relax every so often when the issues of the day of your, your office job become overwhelming. Maybe just come here and take a load off. Just sit down and look up at the fake night sky and this tree. Except now I'm here. I'm back here. Was I, was I ever not here? It is strange. Maybe I was here all the time. Maybe I'm always here. Sometimes it feels like I'm always here. How much of my life am I wasting here? What percentage? Maybe I could calculate that in my spreadsheet. And how much is my life worth? Well, I mean, I guess it's the paycheck that they're paying me. I'm still not ready for this window. Well, Bob, too. I took your key. I unlocked the door. I don't know if I found anything, though. Uh, we already tried that. I guess we've reset. We need to explore further. We need to find more. We need to cook. There's nothing in there, and you really shouldn't ha turn a micro microwave on if nothing's in there. I think I, I think I turned it on twice. Yeah, I've turned it on multiple times. I don't think that's how microwaves work, but... Then again, this shouldn't be how life works to begin with. Maybe someone wants coffee. I knock this over. I shouldn't have. Makes it harder to walk around in here. Can't really get, get the cup. I don't know if that's pouring in. 
It kind of looks like it's not. Well, no one's asked for coffee yet anyway, so maybe it doesn't really matter. Someone did say that the secretary does like origami. I believe someone did say that. I guess this is her. We haven't been in this part of the office yet. Hmm, one bottle of coke left. They really should restock these things. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. No matter how much we shake, that bottle is going to be out of our reach, out of our grasp. It represents our dreams, which will always be forever out of our grasp. Just almost there. Almost. But there's a barrier in our way, a barrier that we cannot break. No matter how much we may want to. What does the secretary have to say? Oh, the fish is dead. Could we get a different fish? All right. I mean, I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just throw that over... I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go get a fish origami. I don't see one here. Was there a fish in the pond? I believe there was. But could we pick it up? I don't know if we could. We could try. Hey, we could try anything. Uh, do you, you like this? You don't like that. I guess let's go get that key again. Well, first we'll need the barracas. Then we get the key. Then we unlock the lock. But the sign lies. It is not an exit. We will not find our freedom this way. We'll only find a temporary reprieve. A respite from the events of the day. Can I get that fish? Or maybe it's not a fish. Maybe it's one of those leaves. I was thinking that maybe there was a fish swimming around in this pond. Like a koi pond or something. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Yeah, I'm thinking it probably was not a fish at all. It doesn't really seem like there's anything else to interact with in this place. Well, if we were looking for a different fish, this seemed like it would be a likely place to find it. But I'm thinking that maybe it's not the case after all. Well, the secretary still wants a different fish. We still have to solve that. Here's the first fish. You know, I'll just I'll just put it up here. Maybe maybe the secretary will appreciate. No, okay. Still wants a different fish. What about this elevator? Is leaving the office just as easy as going down the elevator? Maybe we'll just get up, walk away. Oh, that's nice. I don't know what I was expecting. Of course, there was never any escape that way. That would have been too easy. If it was just a matter of opening up the elevator and going down, we could have left a long time ago.
Looks like the boss likes to keep tabs on what the workers are doing. No confidence that they're actually doing their jobs. But I mean, if he has no confidence in them, maybe that's his fault. If he was doing his job as a manager, why does everyone want to goof off the way they are? Why does everyone want to escape? Why am I in his office just throwing all these books around? Maybe he could answer that. Well, he'll be annoyed when he comes in and sees he has to clean all these up. I still can't open that, and that's still locked. Hey, now we, here we go. Got his, got his key. Don't know what... Okay. okay. So I see that uh, surveillance goes beyond just the telescope. This seems unnecessary, I would say. Oh. You know, sometimes... You know you shouldn't do it, but in the moment, it just feels so right. I don't think there's anything else at our computer that we can do. I guess we are going back to just try to figure out what it is we need to do to escape this place, to escape the office, and live our life. And find our own meaning. To find a life where we never have to ask ourselves why did we even bother to get up today. I, yeah, the secretary likes origami, but I don't know if that's really what the secretary needs right now. And we could bring more origami to her, I suppose. You know, who can actually define us for us? Who can say, who am I? I don't even know who I am. Well, maybe let's focus on the secretary. Maybe let's bring the secretary origami. I mean, she's asking for a fish, but I don't see any fish. I don't see any other fish around. Maybe let's just bring all the origami over to her. Maybe she'll appreciate one of them. She'll have all the origami she could ever ask for. I guess the fish just must have died suddenly. Probably was okay this morning. Then the secretary was just looking at her computer. And then just looked up a couple minutes ago and the fish was floating there. Passed on without a sound, as fish will do. Oh, I can sit here. Oh, I can sit here and I can fold origami. Well, I think I know what I need to fold. That's what I need. Maybe it can make someone happy. You know... Even something as small as this. If it can make someone happy, then it was worth it was worthwhile. Life is hard enough as it is. The little things that you do to try to make someone happy can be so worthwhile. But she's not paying attention to it. Maybe I have to talk to her first. She still is not acknowledging the fish. <laughs> is that really what I had to do? I mean, that's gonna ruin the paper. That is a... That's a whole lot of fish. I 
And while little gestures that we can make to try to make people happy, they can be important, but sometimes they just fall flat. Because sometimes we've just seen it so many times before. The window is open. Maybe we are finally ready. This seems maybe a bit extreme, but sometimes extreme measures are necessary. It's our life we're talking about. And in the end, we find that the only way out of the office is just to jump out the window But was that any escape at all? In a way, we never really escaped the office. We never found our own meaning. We never really took our... I mean, in a way, we took our life back for ourselves, since we decided that we weren't going to stay in the office anymore. But was that really the only way? Maybe it was. But hopefully not. Hopefully, you can find your own way out of your own personal office, your own personal cubicle that you dread going to every day. And maybe that's a literal cubicle. And maybe it's just, maybe this is all just a metaphor for something else. But hopefully, you can find your own way out and find a life worth meaning, not just a life where you have to go do what you have to do every day because it's expected of you. Because choices were made, decisions were made before you were ready to make those choices. And now you're stuck with the life that you have. Hopefully you can find your own way out. Even if it seems, even if it seems difficult to do sometimes. And hopefully that way doesn't involve actually just jumping off of a roof. Because that's probably not the way to do it. But apparently that was the ending to It's Always Monday. A short free game available on Steam. Uh, the developer, Alonzu, says that this is their first full release game, so perhaps more will be coming from this developer. We played as Bob. He was trapped in his job. He tried to find a way to escape the office. And in the end, well, I guess it's up to you to decide whether or not he found a solution. But that's It's Always Monday. And I hope it doesn't feel like Monday for you. I hope it feels like Friday for you. What about it's always Friday? That would be a much that would be a much more energetic fun game, I think. A lot more colors than just drab blue, probably. But even if it's not always Friday for you, I hope it's not always Monday. And I hope sometimes you can get up out of bed with a smile on your face, even if that's not every day. But this has been It's Always Monday, and I'll see you around another time for another free shorty. See you then.